Hello everyone, I'm Tom with Stock Navigator. Uh, first of all, I'm going to talk about the sector rotation so that you pay attention and can avoid to buy stock in the sector. And uh, after that, I will uh, do the market uh, update for you and to see what happened uh, for tomorrow. And then uh, we're looking for some top that they uh, do uh, in the uptrend so that we can take a look together. So uh, first of all, uh, uh, okay, so make sure that you sign up and hit the like button thumb up below so that we can uh, notify you when the new uh, uh, video come out. Alright, so uh, let's take a look on the uh, the market right now. So the overall market is still uh, bullish, okay, but you have to pay attention here because usually at the last week of June the market is it uh, can pull back down so right now the market if they hit all time high they cannot hit higher so this one become a strong uh, resistance right now so if the market put it back up they cannot punch to this level and then they can be a short-term correction so you have to pay attention to see what happened because right now you look at uh, a lot of sector that have a trouble right now with the energy sector even the oils go up but the energy sector they turn around today with a strong uh, uh, volume, sell volume here. So you have to pay attention. This one it may uh, hit the top. They need, to, they will be in the correction shortly. So a lot of talk that in this sector, you can see that uh, uh, they have a trouble like Apache, right? So they all coming down. Uh, Axon Mobile, uh, they all coming down. Okay, CVX, Chevron, they all coming down. PDCE, so uh, they all coming down today, so you have to pay attention and lock in your profit if you already uh, write them up from the bottom. And the next one is the XLF, the financial sector. It uh, also get hit very hard today because the bank stock they were hit hard due to the drop in long term yield. That's why it called after the Fed uh, uh, now yesterday, and everything that co collapsed today. So. If you look at the uh, couple of stock, uh, you can see that a lot of bank stock like uh, Wells Fargo Bank. They coming down very hard today, and then you look at the uh, uh, let me see here. Like even a lot of strong bank like Bank America, they cannot survive right there. And uh, uh, you know J B Morgan, another strong one, they cannot survive, and then they drop like rock today. Okay, so you can see that a lot of top and you know the bank top, city bank, another one, they fall the cliff today. So, so that's why you have to pay attention for uh, bank top right now. So stay away from it. to see they uh, let them to be stabilized before you can uh, get back in. Another weak sector that also happened is I see that the industrial sector. They also uh, have a, a big problem here. As you can see here, they continue to push it back down and you see a lot of strong talk in this sector they couldn't hold on to it like Caterpillar Bella they continue to rough for the whole week here and uh, John Deere okay so this one here is also coming down Home Depot okay they all going down and FedEx okay they all rubbing very fast to the downside okay so that's another sector that that uh, deal in the correction right now and the people complaining that because the material is too expensive, so um, uh, XLB sector is another trouble here as you can see here. So a lot of things like FCX, a lot of strong talkers, they already drop like crazy. You know, silver, they already coming down. Uh, gold, uh, it also coming down. As you can see here, they fall off the cliff today. In copper also uh, went down today also so that's why it, you have to pay attention for those sectors stay away from those sectors let them uh, pull back down stabilize and uh, if you learn how to uh, analyze the chart you can see when they go to stop and then revert those sectors will be a good candidate for you to buy in the future and the two sector that holding very well is the uh, technology stock and the um, uh, biomedical uh, I will show you uh, a couple of strong talk in that sector and that so that we can take a look together. So as you know that trading is a risky business, 
you know, it's not a get rich quick scheme. You need to learn how to analyze and read the chart in the right technical analysis and understand the market psychology so that you know when to get in and when to get out. You need to be in the community so that each member will get support and mentor every day in, and getting uh, guiding every morning in our live trading room so that you can make some extra daily income and you can ask any ticker symbol for swing trading and get the an answer to confirm your thinking before you take in a trade. This is the time for you to invest in your education so that you can survive in this volatile market. And uh, now let's take a quick look on the market uh, so that I, I can do the update for you so that you know what to do tomorrow. So um, the market right now is still continue on the sideways uh, correction in triple uh, witching day tomorrow, which can create a lot of volatile uh, environment for the market. So uh, today technology target they again 1%, they lead by the software and the semiconductor stock, but uh, the Dow and the uh, Russell 2000 to have a trouble uh, and then be a weakest in the group there. So let's take a look on the um, a couple of sectors. Let's take a look on the market first. All right, so the overall, the market is to uh, uh, hang tight to the bullish side, even though now we have to watch out for the 42, 33 resistance there. And the uh, NQ is pretty strong. They, today it's very strong. They put it up and then they still try to pump it up here. Let's see how far they can go, but definitely it, it's still a strong move to the upside. So the people, they come back to the uh, big cap row stock right now. Okay, and the rest of 2000, you can see that they had to sideways choppy uh, correction and the Dow also losing momentum the whole week here and then they continue to drop uh, to the downside. So the momentum is turned to more negative for the Dow right now. Okay, and you see a lot of transportation, uh, a lot of uh, industrial stock like Caterpillar, FedEx, you know, they are all in trouble. So that's why. But the Dow, it, uh, they pull back down very quickly there. And if you look at the gold, the gold is still uh, drop like rock to the bottom here. So they pull back and, and then they drop right here. So right now, this is a strong level of support for the gold. The gold need to, should be able to find some support here and rebound. Okay, and the crude oil it also, uh, after the run up here, so they pull back a little bit today also. And if you look at the uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, it, uh, to sideways here, so they come back, try to fill up the gap here when they break out here. So uh, let's see when they part of support here, if they can hold on here, they will bow back, but the sell down is still up here. So uh, they, they will take a, they will go sideways for a while before they can uh, stabilize and move higher in the future. If you look at Ethereum, it also uh, couldn't make it higher, they still uh, continue to the downside here. Okay, so that's why it's not hurry yet and then jump in and then you get stuck there. And if you look at the um, the XLV, okay, we see the healthcare sector is still very strong as you can see here, they pull back and now if they can clear this resistance here, uh, it's even more uh, stronger in the future for the healthcare sector there. And a lot of stock in this sector perform very well. Like you see that uh, MRK, Merch and uh, company, they're doing very well here. They break out and then gonna be able to put it back up. Uh, GX, that's another uh, bottom fishing that we show you on the weekend. It's still doing well. Uh, EGN, this one here, it continue to put it up. And uh, WSD, another one we show you, it's still a very strong move today. And the semi can, and then technology talk, this is XLK, it's also very strong. They are trying to break out this level here. If they successful break out uh, this level here, and uh, the uh, the technology to continue to put it to the upside, and the two two thing in the uh, technology that the that the uh, software and um, semiconductor they are doing extremely well. So we're talking about the uh, uh, semiconductor, uh, you can see that semiconductor they do doing very well here. They try to build momentum, they get stuck into the resistance level here. If they can clear this resistance with more bullets for semiconductor, but a lot of stock in this sector they're doing very well. 
and you can see that they gain up momentum like AMD today uh, and VDA okay we still have a tremendous uh, uh, you know uh, semiconductor and chip needed for a lot of industry there so this still high demand and XL and X oh, dialing that's another strong one they move up today and also you look at the software it's still doing well uh, like uh, Microsoft okay they try to build momentum to break out the all-time high there ADBE Adobe it's also very strong there and uh, uh, Cloudflare they um, uh, started uh, still doing very well to break out and continue to the upside and CWD another uh, software it's very strong work out and continue to put it back up the uh, couple electric vehicle uh, still doing extremely well as you can I mentioned you I show you on the uh, other video uh, and you can see that uh, those talk on the semiconductor shorted but a lot of uh, EV electric vehicle talk to doing well and those talk I mentioned for you earlier today they take up like Lee Auto okay and i o okay to bullet okay f p e v still very strong there and t s l a even tesla is trying to looking or try to put it up a little bit there okay so um this is uh, uh all i have for you today so uh have to be careful for tomorrow that a triple widget day so the market will be a little bit more volatile and beside this stock if you are busy working you can subscribe to our Wall Street premium watch list where I will hand pick about five stocks every week and analyze in detail with the entry stop lot and target so that you can follow I hope that you enjoy my analysis please click the thumb up like button below and good luck on your trading and thank you for watching